person that you should be watching is a man right in the middle of the shot without the cap, Alex Popov, the world record holder. Popov. He's the last to get into a stroke, but look at that stroke. That is sprinting at the highest level in terms of technique. High elbows, stretching forward, getting the arms in front of the body, pulling right back to the hip. But look at Gary Holt go with them. He's matching them stroke for stroke, and Popov won't be expecting this. But watch it turn low over on the turn, hit the wall, and Hall is with them. Now, this could be interesting. Gary Hall is pushing the great Alex Popov and he could be pushing into a world record. There's just 25 meters to go. The American is there, but Popov beginning to move now. Four guests from Brazil in five. Below Popov is coming, but Popov can see them both. Popov going for the wall. Let's see the time. 48, 49, 49, one, two. So Popov wins gold. Not as fast as we might have imagined. And just outside the world championship record, the Biondi championship record will last another four years. But that's the man that won gold, Alex Popov. Bit surprised with the time, I suppose. <laughs> Very surprised. I can't believe that. 49 1 2. Well, that's an extremely quick time at world standards. Quite slow as far as Alex Popov's standards are concerned. Gary Hall had a great race there. Just outside his best time, 49 4 1. And Gustavo Borges, the first medal for Brazil at these championships so far. So that was a that was a very exciting race. Not the way anybody in this crowd first thought it would go, I feel. Now I think uh, Popov could have been put off with uh, Gary Hall making such a brave attempt on the first 50. He was right there with them, really pushed uh, Popov. Popov was always a favorite to win this one. We did expect him to go under 49, however, and break the championship record. I always thought the world record was a little bit too much because everything has to be on song there. You notice Popov not wearing a cap, and that uh, usually cuts down resistance. And it might be a measure of what Popov was expecting from the race, because if he was really after that world record, he would have probably put that cap on, even though he doesn't always wear a swimming cap to cut down resistance. So even though he doesn't have long hair, the hair there's certainly causing some drag. And over 100 meters, you want to cut out all the resistance. Total resistance is when you shave all the hair off the body. But sometimes the cap is also good for getting you through the, the water. So Alex Popov now being interviewed straight away by the television network of Russia. And uh, it would be interesting to see what he was saying, but uh, we won't be able to translate well, that Oh, we can. So he's saying that he felt very good, but uh, good wasn't expecting a world record, and he was after the gold medal. Now we can confirm the result. Popov winning the gold, Gary Hall, silver, and Borges, Brazilians, first medal of these championships.